Did you know there are 25 to 50 active serial killers in the US alone that haven't been caught yet? I know this is true because I 14 female. Live with one. Storytime door. Ever since I was little I've lived alone with my dad. When I was younger, it was without a doubt the worst time of my life. I had my own room, and it always seemed like my life was normal from the outside looking in, but in reality my life was more like a nightmare. I wasn't allowed to come out of my room unless I asked permission first. Even if I had to use the bathroom, I pretty much wasn't allowed out of my room for anything, and for a long time I didn't know why. Then one night I found out and even though it's horrible I accept it, I was in my room when I started hearing loud noises and bangs coming from downstairs. I was scared and I couldn't leave my room so I put a pillow over my ears and tried to block out the noise. I never heard screams or voices but I knew something horrible was happening. A little while later I could hear my dad just shouting and talking to himself. He was saying things like look at this mess and why did you wake up? And then I heard our front door open and shut. After that it was really quiet and I started to hear this really weird noise. I was pretty young. I don't know exactly how old but I remember thinking it was a puppy. In my mind the puppy had made the mess and I wanted to get out out of my room and see. I started calling my dad from the doorway of my room but he never answered. I knew he left but I wanted to make sure. I figured I would just go find the puppy and get back to my room before my dad came back in. I followed the sound down the stairs but the closer and closer I got to it, the more I felt like I was going to find something terrible. By the time I got downstairs, I had pretty much scared myself out of even trying. I was about to turn around and go back to my room when I heard something that almost made me throw up I was so nervous. It was a voice that I didn't recognize and it was asking who's there. To this day, I still wish I would've just ran to my room when I had the chance, but I didn't. I realized the sound was coming from one of the closets in the hallway, and even though I knew I shouldn't open the closet door, I did. Sitting on the floor of the closet was a lady with her eyes covered and her hands and feet tied together. It was the first time I had ever seen something like that, but it wouldn't be the last. She begged and begged for me to let her go, but even at that age I knew I couldn't. Now I'm allowed out of my room, and whenever there's a girl in the closet I tell her I wish I could let her go and I really do wish I could, but instead I just closed the door.